So this is the uh, repair cafe put on by the Wellesley Rotary. And we invite people to bring in anything they have that, uh, that can be repaired. Uh, common uh, items are lamps, uh, appliances like uh, vacuum cleaners, people bring in furniture, uh, electronics, uh, train sets, toy train sets, and uh, in, in most cases, almost all cases, we find a way to fix it, put it back in good shape. And the whole idea is to promote a green initiative so that items don't uh, go to the uh, landfill unnecessarily. Uh, we can repair them, put them back in good working condition, and extend the life of uh, all these items. Uh, with the lamps, uh, oftentimes it's the, uh, the socket needs to be replaced or switch needs to be re replaced. Uh, I think for the other items, similar kinds of things, there's some kind of component somewhere that's the, the breakdown. So the uh, challenge is to find out where that breakdown is, uh, identify it, and replace the, the broken item. Well, I think all this comes from different angles. Uh, I happened to grow up with a, uh, my father had a part-time business of repairing and finishing furniture. So I, uh, high school, college, worked for him. Learned how to fix a lot of things uh, through him. Other people had other kinds of uh, background. But you're right, none of us do this as our, uh, as our day job. It's uh, pastime and, and part of it is just being able to go in and experiment, uh, troubleshoot, and uh, problem solve. Real challenge? Can't really think of one. I mean, the uh, uh, at least the things that were brought to me, I was able to manage to figure out what the issue was and, and get it resolved. Uh, we had a, uh, a toast. I had a toaster once that was fairly complicated, but I was able to uh, identify once we took it all apart that it in fact was uh, simply the uh, the wire was frayed at the edge. Uh, replaced or repaired that, and worked fine. I had someone today bring in a handset from a very old phone system and they wanted help. They, need the, they knew the battery had to be replaced um, and I was able to figure out how to, uh, to get that off. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of very you know, older kinds of items that some people would think would be on their useful life, but as long as you can repair the battery, replace the battery or repair a frayed cord, it uh, brings it to a new life. Uh, John Adams, one of our members, uh, I think heard about it from some other rotaries. Uh, so we used a template that's been used elsewhere and put it in place here and it's been working great. So it's the second one we've done and common feedback we get is people think we should do this more often. Someone said today, you should do this every month. And we probably could. So we're here with our mobile outdoor library from the Wellesley Free Library. Uh, we've brought materials uh, for checkout for the repair cafe. Today we brought some repair manuals, some, um, some how-to DVDs, and we also have some tools, a toolkit and a laser level that we have from our uh, library of things. Yeah, we've been to, um, mostly in the summer, we, we go to the uh, summer series outtime, uh, outdoor concerts, and we've been to Morse's Pond, uh, we run a children's program there, and we also take this to the schools, we have uh, a couple of clubs that we run out of um, some of the elementary schools and the middle school, and we just bring materials along that people can check out right on the spot. Um, we also have materials for people to um, explore our digital collection. Uh, we have online audiobooks and, and ebooks and a whole bunch of materials to explore online as well. We do not have the next one scheduled. I think that's one of the things I think we should probably do is we should put together a, a year schedule. Um, some people said today that we need to do more effort, more work on publicizing it. So if they, people knew about it, we'd have uh, you know, even more attendance.